You touched on a minute ago that you spent some time in Your Majesty's service in prison. Do you mind me asking what led you there, Harry? Um, bit of capers, bit of commotion. I ended up on a section 18, mm -hmm. wounded with intent. Yeah. With a bladed article. Mm -hmm. All that grip, anyway. It was self defence for me because yeah. I used the, whatever, the bladed article. Yeah. I had to do my time. Mm -hmm. The judge said, you know, I had all um, references, mm -hmm. England boxing, this, that. He's, That's on, he's on the road to the Olympics. Yeah. Blah, blah. Number one seed. And the judge said, it saddens me to sentence you, but you have done the crime. So I've got to do your time. Give you time. Yeah. But I can give you time where you can still get out mm -hmm. and train for the Olympics. Mm -hmm. So with him. Um, I got a two and a half, two and a half years. Yeah. Was that for carrying? I played, yeah. It was for using it? Yeah. It was, okay. a, it was a stabbing, really. So yeah. mm -hmm. I've um, got a year. Yeah. I had to do a year, get out on tag. Yeah. Did a last, on your license thing. Mm -hmm. I've done my year, I got out on tag within three weeks. It was, it was worse than I was the first time. I got yeah. out. Mm -hmm. Where I've done that year in jail. Yeah. Gangbanging in jail, fighting every day. Yeah. You come out worse. Mm -hmm. You come out well worse. Because mm -hmm. I thought it was hard, and I thought I could do jail then as well. Do you know what I mean? Oh, come on, well, where's? Mm -hmm. Back doing what I do. In three weeks, I'm back in. Mm -hmm. Back in again. How was your time inside? I, you know, it, it's got through it, no problem, do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? But I've had mm -hmm. some ups and had some times as well, yeah. do you know what I mean? It's rough, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, mm -hmm. that, that's what I'm trying to say. With most of these boxers from Liverpool, they haven't done nothing. They've never been through nothing, really. You think they have? They've had yeah. a few fights as a kid. You know what I mean? I've mm -hmm. been skimmed for two and a half years, flat on my face, hearing these kids' names mm -hmm. in boxing. Yeah. That's why when I'm telling you, mm -hmm. I'm going to run them over. Yeah. Fully. Like, I'm running them all over. My blood's been boiling for two and a half years. I've been skinned flat on my face, trying to scrape parcels together. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like, what's going on? I'm a big boxer. That's why I've got mm -hmm. that fire in my belly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm going to ruin anyone that gets in me, right? How much has your life changed, Harry? Since you came out of prison, because you look like a very happy person, you look, you're in a good spot. Oh, How much has your life changed since you've left I've prison? I've went from zero to hero, like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. happened too quick. I don't even know how it happened like that. I went from a no one to, like, I'm not even being cocky, like, the old city loves me, the old city's on me back. Like, you know what I mean? I, I just walk around, people drop by, BBH money! Yeah. A little superstar, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We got out of jail last year. You know what I mean? As yeah. I said, flat on my face, nothing, no one. Has it made you mentally stronger, Harry? Yeah. That you've learned that tough lesson in life? Yeah. And you've been given a second chance. Has it made you mentally stronger? 100%, yeah. Mm -hmm. I matured a lot in, in that few mm -hmm. summers I've done in jail. Mm -hmm. I matured a lot, do you know what I mean? I was always an art little hard man anyway. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was 15, feet up reading the paper and a cup of, <laughs> cup of coffee like an hard man. But like, yeah. I just went from a little boy to a man mm -hmm. like that. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But it wasn't even till just before I got out, I realised when I was getting out, I just thought I was going back to what I do. Mm -hmm. Not boxing, do you know what I mean? And I was um, talking about it, MTK. Yeah. Wanting, wanting to sign me. Yeah. If it's not like, as soon as you get out, we'll sign. If you get back from the straight and narrow, lad, we'll look into it. Blah, blah, blah. Didn't that my uncle Joey in jail? Yeah. I'm in jail with my uncle. Was this the conversation in jail? Yeah. Was thinking, yeah. Oh, that's crazy. So that's what I'm saying, you know what I mean? I'm in jail with all my uncles and that's mad, you know what I mean? So, um, was your uncle, uncle inside as well? Yeah, yeah. Ah. My uncle Joey, um, mm -hmm. getting down with him. And he's saying, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So what you did, don't, we, we said, we'll box this contract with you, but you've got to get back in, back to winning ways, mm -hmm. doing what you do best. I, I, I was loving the sound of it, mm -hmm. but I didn't believe in it. Do you feel that advice your uncle Joey kind of springboarded you to say it gave yeah. you that maturity? Yeah. Getting those words of advice for him? Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Mm -hmm. Was that a turning point for you? Ah, yeah, but as I said, I was loving it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm listening to him, looking him in the eyes when he's speaking, and I'm yeah. like, mm -hmm. I was dead, dead interested in it. But then I was just like, when he went away and I'm walking back to my cell, I'm like, <laughs> not at him, but like half thinking, that's not going to happen, you know what yeah. I mean? Mm -hmm. Whatever. I didn't think it would just happen like that, it did. Mm -hmm. So, like, 
Now the way I think I've been in the gym over a year and that, I didn't think that was going to be possible. Mm-hmm. I didn't think I'd be moving to another country, moving yeah. to Scotland for boxing, yeah. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. One day like me, I, why would I do that, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, it all just happened. As I said, I went back to the gym, my own gym. Mm-hmm. My coach, who I've been with from that big, he's got a new stable. He wasn't that he wasn't interested in me, it just wasn't the same. Normally when he was padding me or training me, he had a little sparkle in his eye. I was his boy and his little star boy and he had that thing, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And when I got out, he just didn't have that thing for me and it, it broke my heart, you know what I mean? Probably broke his heart as well. Yeah. But, uh, did, that, but did that affect you, that kind of relationship? Yeah, that, that, that's what you? I'm trying to say. He, he, mm-hmm. I should, should have really turned pro with him. I've been going from that big, so why not? Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, it was never going to happen in Liverpool. In Liverpool, it was never going to happen. When I went back to gym, he wasn't. He was my coach. Yeah. He was no one coming close to me yeah. with him. Do you know what I mean? Like he was man. I was his golden boy, and I got out. I wasn't his golden boy. Did that hurt you? Yeah, it broke me. I, bl- I blended it. I acted like we're in Aston. I'm stuck on deep down. It broke me, lad. Yeah, I was. I was trying to prove to them all the time. See, I was a lazy fighter. I wouldn't train, as I said, I wouldn't train. So when he's training these new people, I'm getting up early in the morning to do the hill runs with them and that, trying to beat them. You know, I've been in jail for years. I'm going sick and all that. And it was just killing me. It was just eating the soul out of me. Trying to impress him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Then I sparred and I thought, this is where I'll get him. And I'll impress him, do you know what I mean? And I got roughed up. And I had an argument with him. Yeah. And I fell out with him. It just killed me. I just ended up coming to Scotland. I thought I've got to do it. You know what I mean? And like yeah. that's what happened. My whole world fell apart. Everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? I lost all my confidence in jail. Everything. Yeah. Got out. Fell out. My coach. My bed left me. Um. I'm getting told when I kind of can't see me ma. When I kind of can't hug me ma. Like my whole life fell apart. You know what I mean? And that's when I realised the people who did believe in me. My ma. My bed, my, my coach, yeah. when they all give up on me, I just knew, like, something's got to change here. I'm doing something wrong here, do you know what I mean? Like, if you're doing stuff wrong, but you're still getting away with it, you'll still do it. Yeah. I wasn't. Oh. Look at you now. I, I know now, because I've sorted it out, but at the time, I knew, like, I'm not. People are falling out of me, leaving me, getting off, whatever, because I'm doing stuff wrong. I'm like, yeah. oh, God, it's changed me life. This is not me, you know what I mean? What have you learned for that time, being in sight, you know? Stop being a knob. Use my language, but that's fine. Just what's what's the need in this? Do you know what I mean? So like, where I come from, I would have killed and died for that area. Yeah. We're against the other gangs on the other over the road. Do you know what I mean? But then when you do something, it's that area. Who's phoning police on you and getting your nicked? You know what I mean? Exactly. And you're just like, or oh, them people who, who you do it for. If you've got nicked for something, maybe they'll throw you under the bus in a second. You know what I mean? Or. Yeah. You went to jail, they wouldn't get send you a postal order. They're probably trying to grip your bed. All this this shit, that gang life thing, it's just a load of shit for the kids out there and I'll just don't bother with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Go and make money and look after your mum, like what I'm trying to do. You know what I mean? Well, as I was saying, Harry, difficult roads lead to beautiful destinations. Yeah. Look at you now. That's it. Look at you now, mate. That, you've just nailed it on the head. Like, I've, I'm, I'm proof of that. I'm proof of that. That's that's why I am gonna go far because I have had a little bad time and whatever, a little rough patch. You know what I mean? That's what gets me out of bed. But no, they have these other boxers haven't felt that. Yeah. So they don't know the only bad things they have when they get beat in a boxing match, stuff like that. You know what I mean? They don't know that. You've been to rock bottom, mate. Look at you now. The only way, the only way is up. The only place lower than where I was is the grave. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. a fact. You know what I mean? That's why I am humble a bit. That's why I don't wanna disrespect no one because. Yeah. I'm coming from there trying to get up, I'm not looking down on no one. Mm-hmm. I've been the lowest I could ever be, flat on my face, all fours. Mm-hmm.